we are turning this box of bits into this absolutely awesome armor typhoon. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to RC Workshop. Guys, check it out today. We have got an armour in the collection. Not just any other armour though. This is literally a box of bits. Check this out guys. We have got literally an armour Typhon in pieces. We've got the body shell. We've got a really smashed up front end. We've got wheels. We've got tyres. We've got arms. We've got hubs. We've got chassis plates. But this thing, guys, is missing an awful lot of stuff out of that box. I've purchased this because I've got a plan. I've worked all the prices out with probably 200, 250 pounds in the red for parts for this. We need front diff, rear diff, we need um, chassis plate, and so on and more. But I've had this in the collection some time, guys. A 1 8 scale brushless buggy. This thing's been in the collection, I don't know, several years now. I have got spare parts for these, spare parts galore. Brand new diffs in the box, front and rear, uh, hubs. I've got arms, got shock tears, got shocks. I've got everything spare for this. Probably three buggies over, but here's what I'm going to do. I am going to transplant as many parts as I physically can from out of this box onto this 1.8 scale buggy. This is going to be a brilliant little project, guys. That, I even started doing it and I thought, hang on, this has got to go in a video. So one thing I've already got done is I put the armour centre diff into that car. This is going to be great. Let's see you on the bench. I'm going to do a few videos of the components going on and then show you the final outcome on this car. I'm really looking forward to this one. I wanted a Typhon 6S for a long time. Is it a Typhon 6S though when it's done? Let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up as well. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get to work. So unfortunately, this armor did not survive a one-on-one -on -one with the concrete curb. Uh, led to believe that he was full power, 6S, straight into a curb. And I believe everything he's saying as well. This is really bent up. Um, that is the diff case or what's left of it. The buggy in all its glory. One thing I'm just going to do, you ain't going to see it on video, but I'm going to whip these shocks off front and rear take the wheels off and then start to take the hubs apart because I'm pretty sure the front hubs and the drive shaft and the CVs are going to fit off the armour. Let's get them swapped over and come back to you when it's done. I know which ones I prefer the like and feel of and there we go. One side done. We've even got the armour CV on there as well, CVDs and the big bearings as well and the hubs. Time to the other side. Front's done. Front hubs are on. CVDs are on, we've got the red hexes on there as well, and the bit of red armour on there, look, there we go. We've even got the steering linkages on as well, we've got the steering servo off the armour on there, just got to change this green over, um, probably polish it down or something. Front shocks as well, both sides are on, battery box is next on there, so what I've done is chopped it down a little bit, there was some little tiny bits of extras on that battery. Just got to figure out where I'm going to place it so it's out the way of that spur gear there. But then we're going to drop that nice new battery box on there. The rears, we've had to use the existing hubs but just change the hexes over and put the shocks on as well. Just got to sort that little sway bar out as well. Just notice that's hanging out. Motor mount as well, we've had to do a little bit of jiggy jiggy with the motor mount because when it hits something it must have bent it a little bit. So I've put a big fat washer in there and that's straighten that up on the main spur with the pinion so that's all nice and good so next we just gotta figure out where all the electrics are going and then i'll fire it up and get a little whirl for you as it is and then tidy all the wiring up bang some wheels on it put the shell on figure out how we're gonna do the spoiler again because the spoiler mount is missing i ain't got a spare one there's not one on the buggy and there's not one in the box so I'm going to have a look around and see what I've got. Also, what's nice is these existing little side wings off the chassis. These just pull off, screw off, sorry. And these are like flimsy and crap compared to the real armour ones. If you look, them holes there line up perfectly for this one to go on, like so. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's an armour. And there you have it. It's together, 
it works. I mean, let's fire it up. Everything's on there now. Everything's tight. All the wiring's sort of tidy-ish. Just got to change the colour of that little bracket there and the one underneath. I have got a red one in the box. So I'm sure it'll fit. Yeah, there you go. We have got ourselves a half and half armour Typhon type thing. Uh, let's fire it up and give it a whirl. Power on. Power on. Steering. Steering's real nice. Let's give it some throttle. Wow! Reverse. Nice. And there you go. <laughs> Let's dump the shell on. Hang on, one sec. Just gotta get the uh, shell to fit properly on the back of the uh, on the back of the buggy, but the front all clips in nicely, like so. Let's go get some little mounts from the back there so that the shell fits nicely on the back. What do you think about that? One more surprise, come back to you in a sec. Yes! What do you think about that then? What? That is going to be absolutely awesome on a car park. <laughs> that looks mean as as well. Just got to get rid of that bit of green. Apart from that, that would pass in my eyes. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you think, guys. I am mad about that. Also, let me know if I should be using these as well. These are like one and a half inch wheel extenders as well. So these will be right out here. <laughs> so, there you have it, guys. That was a long session, trust me. I think I'm six hours in for that one. Anyway, we turned a box of bits into an armor Typhon. A 6S one as well. I think it works really well. Six hours building time, that ain't too bad, to be honest. I could take this out now, get some fun on the blacktop. Put the off-road wheels on it, go blasting off-road, I've got plenty of spares for it. Was it worth doing? Drop a comment below. Should we rename it something else as well? Who knows? Anyway guys, please rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one where this thing will be tazzing around on a car park with the infraction. See ya!